This is the Rich Steven Show. Get rich quick. 877-850-8585. Now, here's Rich Stevens. Thank you so much for turning on the radio. I tell you, it's been one of those days. I- I'm really excited. There's certain guests that excite me more than others when we get them on this program, and this is one that really excites me. Her name is Leah Salonga. She's famous for her roles as a prostitute on Broadway and a princess for Disney. She has said that her audience usually is gay couples who know the lyrics to everything. And some older folks who have seen every leading lady since Ethel Merman, younger people in the 20s on a date, groups of girlfriends. It was recently reported by a Reader's Digest poll that Leah Salonga is the second most trusted person in the Philippines. She's an international recording artist, a film actress, and one of Broadway's superstars. Leah Salonga, how are you today? I'm good, Rich. How are you? Good. It's amazing to be... Uh, where you are today, did, did you ever expect to hit it this big in this country? No, I never expected anything um, throughout my career. I think it's, it's just that feeling of um, feeling like I was just placed in, in a lot of places. And it was, it's, it's a little strange because I don't remember when I was a kid growing up and doing musical theater that, um, that this was what I actively chose to do for the rest of my life it just kind of happened what, what nicely age, what, i'm not complaining oh uh, yeah i wouldn't complain what, what age did you start acting or, or singing the whole thing what, what when did you start i was about seven when i started working would you say that your your styles of singing because they're a little bit different obviously were you greatly influenced by one person in particular or several or no i think i was influenced by several people um i listened to a lot of pop music on the radio and my babysitter that was actually a first cousin of mine who lived a couple of streets away, she'd come over to my house and bring her along her guitar, and she would teach me songs by Olivia Newton-John or Helen Reddy, that kind of thing. So I, I grew up listening to a lot of pop. I listened to a lot of Karen Carpenter, a lot of the Osmonds, and um, ABBA, uh, Michael Jackson, just whatever, I guess, was on the radio in the 70s was what I listened to. Out of all the things that you've done so far, is there a favorite uh, movie or song or play, something that you did that you still, uh, if somebody were to, well, I just asked you, uh, which would be the one that sticks out that you, you, you're you most proud of or just really excited to say, that, hey, that's on my resume? Um, Probably having done Aladdin and Mulan, having done the Disney, the two um, the two Disney movies. Probably those are the ones I'm most excited by because I have a five-year-old daughter, and pretty much from the moment she was aware of Disney films, she understood that mommy did voices for Disney princesses. Now, did you? Because there's some confusion here, so I don't even know the answer to this. So I'm excited to ask you and get the real answer. Were you the singing voice and the voice, or just the singer? No, just the singing. Okay, that's Um, what I thought. Yeah, and, and for both movies, I just sang for both characters. It, it turns out, I mean, for Aladdin, the story is actually kind of funny. Um, they had already recorded all of the speaking parts for, for Jasmine, and she is performed by Linda Larkin, who is a wonderful, wonderful actress. Um, and then I think later, it was later in the process of making the film that the creators decided, you know what, Jasmine should sing a song. So I think they went to Linda and asked her if she could sing, and she said no, she couldn't. Um, so they held auditions to find the singing voice for Jasmine, and I went in and I got it. That's a pretty cool story. It is pretty cool. Well, what's your favorite song to sing? Oh my goodness, I don't think there is a favorite song. I don't think there's a favorite because every time I open my mouth to sing, it's like, yeah, this is good. This feels good. Um, I mean, I enjoy singing anything from Saigon, from Saigon, from Les Mis. Um, certainly, I enjoy singing Defying Gravity from Wicked. Because of what you know, what the lyrics are, are saying, and it's and it's very potent what those lyrics are, and so it's always fun to to get up on a stage and hear an orchestra behind me playing the song. Um, what else do I enjoy doing? I love doing Poker Face in concert, Lady Gaga's Poker Face. I enjoy doing Blackbird. Um, I don't think there is any one song that I, you know, that that I can call the ultimate song. Now, I what- think every every song has something very special that I enjoy about it. Where are you right now? I'm actually in Miami. So I'm looking out over the Atlantic Ocean, I think. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm staying at a friend's apartment, so I'm going to head into uh, Boca Raton tonight and, you know, and then start rehearsals tomorrow for for the concerts. Yeah, you got so a lot of shows, and you'll be at the Kravitz Center on April 2nd and 3rd. Yeah. How long does it take uh-huh. to prepare for a show like that? It really depends. Um, if I'm working with a musical director that I've been working with for quite a long time, um, then it doesn't take more than maybe an hour, a couple of hours. Um, if I'm learning new material, then it takes a little longer than it can take days. Um, but if if it's a matter of just you know going into an orchestra where it's a brand new musical director and all that, then it it could take well it could take a couple of days. Um, and it, it it really all depends. Sometimes it takes long. Sometimes it takes uh, nothing. It depends on the musical director and how familiar he is with the music I'm going to sing. I mean, if it's if it's something that I'm not familiar with and it's going to take me a while. It really it really depends. Well, this time you got a really good musical director, Bob Lappin is uh, Yeah, you I'm know, looking forward to it. Yeah, that's got to be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. What if I asked you to just sing a little bit for me cuz you got such a, a a great phone connection? What would you sing? Um I don't know, I'd probably sing a whole new world. Maybe is so that if anybody was listening, I would going, love to nah, hear. She's not the one. No, she's that's right. you see. Voice. That's I didn't want to say it, but that's why I want to make sure it's really you. So that would oh. be proof as in the pudding, wouldn't it? Just yeah, a, just a couple, be. just a couple lines. Oh sure, um, a whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. All right, that's I, it? I believe you now. Wow. Well, <laughs> like if you didn't before, you do now. I, I, that's amazing. You, you just Thank have you. an incredible voice. There's there's three of us in the studio right yeah. now. We're all looking at each other like, oh, my God. I grew up with that voice, man. I, that's incredible. Yeah, you kind of did. A lot of people did grow up with this voice, yeah. And my daughter's now kind of growing up with it. But she kind of, she's kind of growing up knowing that I did the singing voice. So she's pretty wise to it. And when she sees a cartoon, she asks, Mommy, who did the voice of that of that character? It's like any cartoon, whether it's Ben 10, whether it's anything from Disney, anything from whatever. If it's an animated film, she asks. So what happens if she... The actor that did it. What happens if she knows the film and then you sing her to sleep or something? Is she thinking she's watching a Disney movie? No. She's actually <laughs> pretty savvy and, and is able to separate um, what is reality and what is the film. And I don't really sing her so much at night anymore. She doesn't ask. <laughs> She doesn't ask, Mommy, can you sing to me? I mean, she used to when I was, when she was about a year and a half old or two. She's five. She's all grown up now. She she asks for stories, or she'll watch a cartoon on her iPad before she goes to bed. So is she past the coolness part? It's no big deal. Oh, yeah, that's my mom, or? Um, I don't think she'll ever be past it, because it, it'll, I don't know. I always think it, I think it's cool, but I'm kind of a dork for <laughs> stuff like that. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I really honestly don't know how cool she'll think it is um next year or in, or in another year we'll only we'll only find out soon enough that's going to change quick enough we're talking to leah salong am i pronouncing your name right leah it's actually leah Leo. oh i'm sorry uh-huh. i see you should have corrected me in the beginning oh that's fine that's fine what part of showbiz life do you, is that her crying i'm sorry yeah, it's her crying she woke up from a nap and then she's been sick so it's it's she's not been happy but she'll stop in a couple yes honey and you're getting it live on the radio. Anyway, so, so maybe it's a good time I'm to sing sorry, to your daughter. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's 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 a little sick. But come here. All right. So okay. you got a lot of shows coming up. March 29th is the first. Oh, uh-huh. sh- don't get that. Don't get that call from her now. No, I, I don't think so. I okay. think I'm the one to pass it to her. So I don't think I'm going to catch it back. <laughs> March 29th, 30th, 31st at FAU. Then wow. you're April 1st at IC, and then April uh-huh. 2nd and 3rd at Kravis. You got a lot of shows with Bob Lappin coming up here in South yeah. Florida. And we're so pretty I, excited about it. I think by the it. time we get to Kravitz, we'll we'll have gotten it down. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there a part? Yeah, that's a good thing. Is there a part of showbiz that you just love the most, and is there a part that you hate? I think I love the performing part the most. Um, yeah, I think that that's what I can say about it. It's 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 really great getting up, especially when you're when you have a really wonderful orchestra supporting you and behind you, and and they're playing, and yeah, that that's kind of fun. It's it's pretty euphoric. Um, stuff that I hate. I don't know. I really don't know if there's anything I that. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, you, you what? She hasn't seen her movie yet. Well, you'll see it in a little bit because you can you can get out of bed when any time you want. Hey, uh, kids in their nap. She sounds adorable. Uh, I know. She she actually is adorable most of the time. Um, oh, sorry, baby. But she she knows to cough away from me. Now back to your question. Wait, honey. What do I hate? Um, I don't know that there is anything. Maybe maybe travel depending on how long the travel is because i hate packing suitcases it's not fun it's never fun um especially once you start accumulating stuff over a tour like you know people will be very very nice and they'll give a gift and they'll you know they'll give you a stuffed animal and all that but the minute i get one of the <laughs> minute i get a gift I, I start thinking which where how do i pack this yeah it changes um, the whole thing it changes yeah and when you're living out of a suitcase, and, and I try to always leave a little bit of room in there when I start the travel to allow for, you know, for the stuff that you end up adding on, but sometimes it, it just doesn't work out. Well, it's the magic of Broadway. Leia Salonga, I got to tell you, you know, I don't want to be on that list in case somebody asks you that question and somebody says in the future, what do you hate? And then you say, well, that guy Rich Stevens on the radio for keeping me oh, while my daughter was trying list. to. You'll never be on the radio. <laughs> your hate daughter list. cry, Rich. <laughs> as long as I'm not the one that made her cry. No, it was her. It was, she woke up from a nap and I wasn't here. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it happened. She's a little kid, so. Well, listen, you're going to be in town for a while. Maybe we can get you back on. I don't know why you didn't come into the studio. It would have been so great for you to be here in the studio. Yeah, I would have, but I kind of have a five-year-old that's sick. Oh, yeah, so we don't want to. to be around yeah, okay. her, and you, you do not want to be around a kid with bronchitis. You win, you win that one. Yeah. Leia, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to be with us today. I really appreciate sure. it. I'm looking forward to seeing the magic of Broadway myself. And so when are you coming to watch? I'm going to come to Kravis Center. Okay. So I'll, I'll wave to you. I'll be in the third row, okay? Excellent. And you can say, oh, that's, that's Rich He'll Stevens. Singing along. Yeah, I'll be singing along. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And have a great time while you're here in South Florida. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow, she's so nice. Wow, live princess. Can you imagine? That was great.